What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a newly updated tweet called AnyDrop3. Now there was AnyDrop2 back on iOS 7, but now we've been updated to iOS 8. And what this tweak allows you to do is share any type of file using AirDrop. So when you install this tweak, you'll see if we swipe over here, you actually get an application, a standalone application that you can open up. And this is going to allow you to go through your entire file system right here, kind of like iFile would. And then you can share these files directly within this application. Now, the really cool thing about this is you don't have to necessarily go through that application to share things. So let's just say that we wanted to share a song in our music application. So if we were going to share, let's just say, uh, Guts Over Fear by Eminem, we would just tap and hold, and then you can see that it's going to pop up as AirDrop. So we can actually share this to my other iPhone that I have over here, or we can just send a message to a specific person. So if I was gonna send this to myself, let's go ahead and just type in Cody here, and then just tap send, and it's gonna send that entire song to that contact. Now the cool thing about this is, is that it doesn't have to be sent to a jailbroken device. This could be to any device. So now when we go back here and open up our messages, you can see that we've actually gotten this song and we can play it. I'll turn it on for just a second here. Wait for that HUD to go away. Feels like a so you can see that you get the entire song right there within messages. So this is a really cool tweak. Now if we go back here and we tap on YouTube and we open that up, you can see that if we tap on the dot 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 right up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see that we have a new icon that's going to allow us to download the entire video. So if we download that, you can see that you can download it in high quality, medium quality, or low quality. And then once you download the video, you can actually share it with your friends. So it's very simple to do, very intuitive, and this is a really cool tweak. Now, of course, if you're not trying to share a music file or a YouTube video, then you can always go back to this application right here, open that up, and then navigate through your file system and share whatever specific file that you want to share. So let me know what you guys think about any drop three. Is it something you guys are going to be picking up? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, until next time, peace.